Chapter 6 Actions, Image, and Canvas Image When you press on the Actions button, you will see six buttons on top of the drop down menu. The first button is Image. Here you can import and copy images. Insert a file. Tap on Insert a file to import an image from the browser of your iPad. You can import an image from iCloud Drive or from folders that are inside the On My iPad section. Procreate has its own folder. Tap on it to import an image from that folder. When you tap on it, the image will be imported onto the canvas. Insert a photo. Tap on Insert a photo. Choose an image from your photos library. Tap on the image to import it to your canvas. Take a photo. When you press on Take a photo, you first get a pop-up window to ask permission to use the camera on your iPad. Tap on OK. Now you can take a picture with your iPad. Take the picture. Underneath you see Retake to retake your photo and Use Photo to import the photo to your canvas. Tap on Use Photo. You have imported your photo to the canvas. Cut. You can also cut an image from a layer by pressing on Cut. Copy. You can also copy the image from a layer by pressing on Copy. Copy Canvas. When you want to copy the entire canvas, tap on Copy Canvas. All of the layers on your canvas will be merged into one image. Tap on Paste to paste it into your current canvas, or open up a new canvas and paste it into your new canvas. You can also open up another app and paste the image inside that app. Canvas. In Canvas you can adjust all the settings of your canvas. Perspective Guide. Create one, two or three point perspective grids for your canvas. Toggle Perspective Guide on. Then press on Edit Perspective Guide. A new window opens. You see the canvas zoomed out. Tap on the screen to create a vanishing point. You can move the point around by pressing on the middle blue note with a white circle around it. On the right there is a smaller note to rotate the horizon line. Tap on the horizon line again to create the second vanishing point. Now you can adjust the two vanishing points by pressing on the notes and moving them around. This is a two-point perspective. You can add another vanishing point to create a three-point perspective. Just tap anywhere on the screen. Move the node around to get the perspective grid you want. You can undo and redo your actions with the undo and redo buttons in the left corner below. You can adjust the opacity and size of the grid with the sliders on the bottom of the screen. Delete a vanishing point. If you want to delete a vanishing point, just tap on it. A delete box opens. Tap on delete to delete your vanishing point. Tap on done when you have the perspective grid you want. Tap on cancel to cancel the perspective guide edit. Stave tip. When you have created your perspective grid, you can use it as a reference to start drawing in perspective. If you want your lines to snap to the perspective grid, tap on the layer you're drawing on and choose Perspective Assist. When you draw on the layer, your lines will follow the perspective grid. If you want to turn Perspective Assist off, tap on your layer and tap on Perspective Assist again. Flip 
Canvas Horizontally. Tap on Flip Canvas Horizontally to flip your entire canvas. Your whole canvas, including your perspective grid, will flip. Tap on Flip Canvas Horizontally again to return to the initial state. Flip Canvas Vertically. Tap on Flip Canvas Vertically to flip your entire canvas. Your whole canvas, including your perspective grid, will flip. Tap on Flip Canvas Vertically again to return to the initial state. Canvas Information If you want to find out when you have created your canvas and how big the size of your canvas is, tap on Canvas Information. A new window pops up. On top you see the title of your artwork, the date you created and modified it, the video file size, the maximum layers you can use in this canvas, how many layers you have used, the video quality of your time-lapse recording, the video length, and how many strokes you have made creating your artwork. On the right you see info about the size of your image. The physical dimensions are the dimensions of the artwork in centimeters or millimeters. You also see the pixel dimensions and the DPI of your artwork. In Procreate 4, you can make a new canvas with two kinds of color spaces, sRGB standard color and P3 wide color. Here you see the info about the color space. Tracked time shows the minutes and hours you have worked on your artwork. Want to learn everything about Procreate 4.3? Then get the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books or Vimeo On Demand for only $4.99. Learn all the features in Procreate 4.3 with over two hours of video tutorials. The links are in the description below this video.